But when you think about the life of Daniel, here the king asks, Hey, are you able to tell me? Look at the kind of reply he gives. It's amazing. He says, No wise man, enchanter, magician or diviner can explain to the king the mystery he has asked about. He is able to clarify how the spiritual laws and the wisdom of God and the power of God works. He says, no human being would be able to tell what you are asking. But he says, it's a very powerful words. I pray when I read that, let it explode into your spirit. Having said that, he says in verse number 28, he says, But there is a God in heaven. But there is a God in heaven. Somebody open your mouth and say, But there is a God in heaven. But there is a God in heaven. Hallelujah. God needs just one man to represent him here on earth. You could be that man. You could be that woman. Hallelujah. But there is a God in heaven. I don't know what you are going through. What people are talking about your situation. You may be locked up by so many problems. But I want to tell somebody this morning. But there is a God in heaven. I don't know what the doctor has spoken to you. What is the report of a doctor? But I want to tell you. But there is a God in heaven. Your finance may be going down from the bad to worse. But let me speak. Inject faith into your spirit saying, There is a God in heaven. Somebody say Amen. amen. There is a God in heaven. And I believe heaven is too much involved with the people of God here on earth. But there is a God in heaven.